everyone. So, Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. It's cool to be a part of this game with you, man. Um, as a player, you'll get to visit Dogtown, an unexplored part of Night City, and rescue the president of the new United States of America. If I'm being honest, the game looks good. But I've already played this game in 2020, when it was first released with all the bugs and missing features. Most importantly, the bad performance. This is just a DLC. They might have improved the game and fixed all the problems, but unfortunately, it's too late. There are so many other good games that are being released right now, and most of my friends and me will be playing them instead of Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. I'm not sure if it's for everyone, but for me personally, Cyberpunk 2077 was a wake-up call. It was the moment I realized that even the most beloved companies that have always delivered good products and have never betrayed the trust of its fans can and will at some point prioritize money over its customers. Because of Cyberpunk 2077, I became quite distrustful of all the gaming companies out there. Until I see a game after the release date, I won't believe any advertising that it has. Now, Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty is out, and everyone is praising it, saying that it has made a comeback. It really does seem that CD Projekt Red has delivered a complete package this time. The problem for me, and this is just me, is that I feel like it's not deserving of my attention. I feel that if I start playing it now, I will give a pass to the company who has lied to us in the first place. We should have had this game as it is now, back in 2020 when it was first released. Now, this is just me, and by all means you are free to do whatever you want and go play the game, but I strongly believe that if more people start playing Phantom Liberty now, it will only encourage more companies to deliver broken games and go with the fix it later mentality. I can see that the developers have put a lot of work into the new content. Cyberpunk is and always was a good game underneath all the problems and the missing features, unlike Starfield. So eventually I will also start playing it, just not now. That's my take on this, let me know what's your opinion in the comments and I'm out.